Now, from WYDC-TV, this is Big Fox News at 10. Good evening, I'm Marissa Sarback with Big Fox News. The 12 nights of Christmas begin tomorrow at the Arctic League. More than 30 groups and organizations will work to get more than 3,000 presents ready for needy children in Chemung County. The first packing night begins tomorrow at 7.30 at Arctic League headquarters, and that's 249 West Clinton Street. A couple volunteers share with us what this means to them. We're over 100 years old. We started in 1912, and we're still going today about 105 years. and. It gets bigger and bigger and bigger every year. And what's so good about it is for the people that need, that really need. If it wasn't for the Arctic League, some families would not have a Christmas. You know, but it's so much joy and fun, and everybody just jumps in. And, and uh, uh, through the years, we've, every year we, we get a little bit more organized. And uh, uh, everybody's here for the, the same purpose, to have have fun and share their, uh, their time to help those in need. Packing nights continue until Saturday, December 23rd, with the exception of this Saturday, next Saturday, and Sunday the 17th. Now anyone may volunteer for packing, and they ask you to bring a friend or family member. Last year, a total of 688 volunteers helped pack over 100 bags a night for Chemung County children. An Elmira man is behind bars tonight facing drug charges. 29-year-old William Albritton was picked up on Superior Court warrant for three counts of criminal sale of a controlled substance, a Class B felony. The arrest stems from an investigation by Elmira Police and New York State Police into the sale of crack cocaine throughout the city of Elmira. Well, much colder temperatures today in the area. Chief Meteorologist Chris Summers is in next with your Big Fox forecast. Here's your local stock market update from Big Fox. Now, your Twin Tiers forecast from Big Fox. And welcome back, everyone. A good Thursday evening to some cold temperatures across our area today and also some windy conditions as well, producing some wind chills late this afternoon into the evening hours into the 20s across much of the area. Had a few flurries around the region as well, so a lot of winter in our forecast. And it looks like these cold temperatures are really going to hang around as we get ready for the upcoming weekend. Here's your highs from today then. 39 degrees in Elmira, 39 degrees also to Wanda, 36 degrees in Bath, 39 in Corning, and 39 degrees in Watkins Glen as well. Latest radar does show still a few flurries around the area. Again, seeing a little bit of blue on the radar indicating the flurry activity. Still seeing a lot of lake effect snow going on too over to our west. Uh, through parts of extreme uh, northern uh, parts of Pennsylvania, also western parts of New York, as well seeing some of that lake effect snow still going. That's probably going to continue at least another 24 hours or so as the winds are still basically coming out of the southwest to the west, right across those lakes, bringing that lake effect snow to that area. Again, just a few flurries out there for us, otherwise clear to partly cloudy. Cold one tonight, 20. Overnight, southwest winds around 6. As we head to your Friday, then back to upper 30s. So another cold day expected across our area. 35 by noon, partly cloudy skies and winds under 10 miles per hour. But even with the winds about 10 miles per hour, still producing a little bit of a wind chill as we'll see the high temperatures in the mid to upper 30s by uh, Friday afternoon. Staying cold as we get into the weekend as well. We'll keep temperatures below average this time of year and actually going to increase our snow chances as we head into Sunday and into early next week. It looks like mainly flurry activity, but we will not be surprised to see maybe a dusting of some light snow as we head to late Sunday and early on Monday morning. Here's what it looks like on our surface map. Yeah, a lot of cold temperatures across our area. Snow again along the lakes. Could keep the maybe a few flurries in our forecast for Friday afternoon. Otherwise, just seeing a little bit of sunshine and cold temperatures. Overnight night, overnight lows tonight back in the low 20s. Again, clear to partly cloudy skies as you head into your Friday, then up to the mid to upper 30s. Again, a mixture of sun and clouds as we go through the day on Friday. High of 40 by Saturday. And here comes some more chances of some rain or some snow, I should say, at least some snow showers anyway in our forecast on Sunday. Maybe keeping a, at least a chance of snow in the forecast through a good portion of next week. And again, mainly looking just like flurries, maybe some light snow showers here and there. I don't think it's going to really amount to too much, maybe an inch. Uh, maybe two inches on some of the grassy areas as we go through next, you know, early next week. But again, temperature wise, 36 on Monday, not too bad, but then back in the 20s for highs 
by Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. There is a big difference between those 30s and 20s. You feel it. You can <laughs> you definitely feel it. And even if you have a little bit of wind, even tomorrow's wind will only be about 10 miles per hour, you're still going to feel that chill to your air. That's going to add a little extra chill to our air, that's for sure. Absolutely. All right, well, a baby in North Carolina was born safely on the side of the road, all thanks to his aunt. New mother, Katie DeAndra, began to feel contractions as she got her son ready for school in Brunswick County. Now, she knew she couldn't drive, so she asked her sister Lauren for a ride. That's when her newborn son, Caleb, decided, well, he was ready to make his debut. Lucky for mom and baby, Lauren is a nurse. My sister did an amazing job. <laughs> like, she really did. She, um, I mean, it was like, it felt like she did it every day. Um, if, if it wasn't for her, we would have been just one hot mess on the side of the road <laughs> with the baby. I mean, she, you know, she, she's a mother baby nurse, so she's used to dealing with newborns and she was very um, calm, cool, and collect, you know, in the situations. Well, thanks for joining us on Big Fox News. Have a great evening.